guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my Stephen King bookshelf tour which you guys have been asking for this for so long or you guys just ask for bookshelf tours all the time even though I did one on these shelves but you ain't please are you? <laughs> we're gonna do a Stephen King bookshelf tour because I know it's one of my most requested videos especially recently so we're gonna do that. Let's jump right into it. That's not the way it goes. I am too Starting with the goodies on this shelf, I have the Pennywise Walmart exclusive edition. I have the mass market paperbacks of the Mr. Mercedes trilogy or the Bill Hodges trilogy, starting with Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch. The TV series edition, the Tommy Knockers, Pet Cemetery, The Stand, Gerald's Game, Salem's Lot, The Shining. Oh my God. I'm good! Dining. Great. <laughs> Dead Zone. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Jojo. And Carrie. Next up is this shelf, which is mostly the hardback version, so I'll go through the Funko Pops quickly. So we have one, another one of the Walmart exclusive Pennywises. Um, this one's out of its box. Next up is the Pennywise holding the boat. And lastly, we have Carrie. Again, we have another set of the Bill Hodges trilogy. If you couldn't tell, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Walk. Next up is Dreamcatcher, Insomnia, The Regulators, and Desperation, Duma Key, Everything's Eventual, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, uh, Dollarese Clairborn. Not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but I tried. From a Buick 8. Next up here, we have this shelf. So for the goodies on this shelf, I have the Shining Funko Pops. So I have Jack, Danny, and Wendy Torrance. For some goodies, these are from the Nocturnal Readers January box. So first up is this Poe. I do have some post on here as well. So this is, it's mostly King, but there is some other thrillers at the bottom and another horror and stuff, but this is a Poe pin. Great. This is a little keychain from Odo's Pet Resort. They're probably one of my favorite of the Stephen King editions I have. These are the gallery books editions and then at the top is the Scribner editions. The Tommy Knockers, Dark Half, The Dead Zone, Gerald's Game, Christine, Insomnia, Inner, The Long Walk, and Misery. Shifting over a little bit, I have another set of the Bill Hodges trilogy. <laughs> they have the same covers, it's just the spines different. So yes, the box just has blood drops on it and stuff. Pretty cool, I like it. Next, we'll start with these. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, On Writing, and Full Dark, No Star. Getting into these bigger hardcovers, starting with The Bizarre Bad Dreams, Sleeping Beauties, also by Owen King, Arts in Atlantis, Revival, and Rose Matter. Going down another shelf, which this is gonna be difficult because it's pretty low. We have this shelf. This is this shelf, the second last shelf. So again, Funkos, The Man in Black, The Gunslinger, and Pennywise. I also have this little it balloon then i also have the it dvd and getting into the books i know i have some random ones that aren't king on this shelf but don't mind that the gunslinger the drawing of three which these are the first two books in the dark tower series dr sleep which this is the sequel to the shining <laughs> you guessed it another copy of mr mercedes gwendy's button box also by richard chesmar everything's eventual and the shining get these two out of the way so these are my two copies of it so this edition and then and then I also have the movie tie-in edition. Different seasons, Four Past Midnight. I have a copy of Warcraft on this shelf. Don't mind that, I should probably move this. The Murders in the Rue Morgue and Other Tales by Edgar Allan Poe. I'm gonna just leave my copy of Warcraft here because I want to. <laughs> I also have The Enchanted by Renee Dunfeld and Blaze. Going down to the very bottom shelf. This one's going to be very hard to get to. So that's the best I'm gonna get. So we're gonna do it like this. The stuff on the shelf. I have this random uh, pot of uh, succulents, which I like a lot, so. I also have these socks from Rosemary's Baby, which again is from the Nocturnal Readers box. And to these, I have a lot of Poe editions and other stuff down here. So I have this edition. I have this edition. <laughs> then I have a keepsake journal. Um, well, I have a copy of Hannibal by Thomas Harris. My cat's tail is in the way. <laughs> Sorry, whatever, he's cute. Hopefully he brightens your spirits. I just nicked that book on my shelf. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, pal. <sighs> Move your ass. Move your butt. Good enough. Uh, Hannibal Rising, <laughs> Gerald's Game. Fireman by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son, if you did not know. Another Poe edition. The Raven and Other Tales, 112263. Enter, Rudy. Rudy. No. No, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here, babies. Thank you. Is this edition of The Raven and Other Tales by Edgar Allan Poe? No, Rudy. Go away. I also have Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Going into these editions, I have Great Tales of Terror by Edgar Allan Poe. And then there were none by Agatha Christie. Silence of the Lambs. And Hannibal by Thomas Harris. Two copies of Heartsick by Chelsea Kane. Complete poetry of Edgar Allan Poe. So I have poems by Poe, of course, and it has a nice spine, so I decided to put the one by Sylvia Plath with it, just so it looks nicer together. Fuck. I'll tell Heart. Last but not least, The Murders in the Rue Morgue and The Dublin Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. So thank you guys so much for watching that. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.